Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Radio and television presenters can be some of the most noticeable and present people in our lives outside of our extended family and friends. But as shown through the case of Johan Boffa, despite their infamy, they can be at risk of murder. Johan Boffer was born on the 6th of August 1963 in Rustenburg, in the northwest province in South Africa. He was one of four children, with two older brothers and a younger sister. At the age of seven, his family moved to the South African capital of Pretoria, attending Louis Leopold Primary School and Voorborg High School in Leitelton, a suburb of Pretoria, he studied drama at the University of Pretoria, which is ranked in the top 551 to 560 universities in the world, according to the QS University World Rankings 2021. In 1988, he began working at the national broadcaster SABC, the South African Broadcasting Corporation. He began working on Boffa Blues, an alternative South African music program which gained extensive interest. In 1992, he then began working on a radio program, Tempo. By 1996, the show had approximately 70,000 listeners. In 1994, he started to present SABC's Popular Environmental Awareness Program. In 2009, he chaired the United Nations Climate Change Summit in Geneva. Switzerland. He then went on to present the show Project Arwolf, which was broadcast on the television channel KYK Net, which is an Afrikaans television channel. In 2017, he became presenter of Pretoria FM Sunday night program Night Music. On the 7th of June 2017, Boffer was shot dead at the Zebra Inn in Jeppistown, Johannesburg, along with Werner Swartzi Perchtold, who was aged 73, a former hunter, athlete and bar owner. Both had started a chess club at the Zebra Inn in 2016. Tribute spread from colleagues at Pretoria FM, AKTV and SABC. His funeral service was held in Nederdutsch, Hemvonder, Kirk Church in Verwaltburg. It was revealed that Boffa had been involved in an investigation into a fraudulent land claim in the south of Johannesburg. However, South African police quickly realised that this was not the motivation for his murder. Police then realised, based on evidence, that this was an armed robbery gone wrong, with firearms and money missing from the Zebra Inn. It was discovered that numerous individuals had been involved in the crime. Quelani, Magawe, Moyo, Masafembe, Fembi Mabafa, Notobeko Hiachwayo, and Nikosayatsi Pulanga. The four individuals entered the Zebra Inn, pretending to be customers, and bought a drink. They then pointed firearms at Boffa and Prechtold, killing them before fleeing with the aforementioned firearms and money. Moyo, Mabafa, Hachwayo, and Pulanga were arrested on the 14th of June 2017 in Melville. Held in prison awaiting their sentence, Halachwayo, who is pictured to the left, and Pulanga, who is pictured to the right, were among 15 individuals who escaped from a Johannesburg prison. Halachwayo was traced and shot and killed in Ladysmith in KwaZulu Natal on the 11th of April. At the South Gaitung High Court in Johannesburg, Moyo and Mabafa were sentenced on the 30th of November 2018. Moyo was sentenced to two life sentences for the murder of Boffa and Perchtold with an additional 35 years for business robbery, possession of unlicensed firearms and ammunition. Mabafa was sentenced to 25 years for each murder with an additional 25 years for business robbery, possession of unlicensed firearms and a possession of ammunition. Palunga remains on the run. If you have any information, please contact the South African Police Service on plus two seven zero one two three nine three one thousand. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, 
and have an amazing day.